Welcome to Cabin Rampton. Tony Meadows. I'm by the giant blue dildo. <laughs> what happened? Oh, you know, I had too much fun. <laughs> Another day, another plane. We landed in Phoenix yesterday at the same time and now we're going to Utah, so get at it. Why do you have a mask on? <laughs> because I'm on a plane. Stupid. But I'm gonna take it off now. I can't hear, I got headphones in. <laughs> oh, that's why you were screaming so much. Hey, is this, is this the first time we've been on a plane sitting next to each other? <laughs> yeah, actually it is. Who's gonna take a nap? Who's yeah. gonna win? <laughs> No, here's, it doesn't count if we're sitting close to each other. You need to earn the picture. That is not true. <laughs> that is not true. That's an if easy one win. falls asleep, so I almost <laughs> I almost did photos of you this morning, but it was like your night sleep, so yeah, that doesn't, doesn't count. count. But if you take a nap, it's <laughs> counting. Instagram world likes to know because I am losing the bet that Elena is catching me in better positions than I am. And, we haven't and I'm even, even sleeping more than you. We didn't even easier. We didn't you. even post the one of me sleeping on my mom at a dinner party. You did. No, I don't think so. You did. Oh. <laughs> at least she knows what I'm posting. I have no idea. <laughs> You're posting yourself. <laughs> All right, we're checking out. We got an hour flight to Utah and then hours driving. Peace. Tony Meadows. It's a model. We just landed in Utah and Elena was saying, and I, it felt when I got to the airport in Phoenix that like I could finally chill because we've been going non-stop since she met us two weeks ago when we were at LA for the Super Bowl. And she goes, but all you do is hang out with your friends. That's not very hard work. And I go, oh, it is because the brain is always working. Like when I was hanging out with Dave Berg, he's always changing my perspective or challenging me or making me think differently. Or when I was with Mark all weekend, we're, we're dreaming up the future, we're building the future, which takes a lot of brain capacity. So. It might look like from an outsider that we're not working, but my brain is always going, always thinking about new models, thinking about how do I, like this meeting with Susan, we were chatting with uh, one of our, another girl in our mastermind, Amber, about how do we take one concept that this guy used to sell $56 million on a webinar teaching crypto to NFTs or to book launches. And so I'm always learning and gathering information. And as Elena says, I usually only operate on five hours of sleep, six, maybe seven if it's a long night. Um, but two did not last night. The two nights before was only three hours for back-to-back -back nights. So I'm looking forward to the hot tub at Rampton's cabin and a seven hours of sleep. <laughs> Welcome to Cabin Rampton. I have cool friends. <laughs> I feel like this is too close. <laughs> Who are thou? Who am I? My name is Kelsey Bufton. I'm Gordy's sister. What is your genius? I feel like I'm unprepared for these <laughs> questions. Hmm, what is my genius? Can I pass? I don't know. <laughs> That's you a weird question looking, I've never you been could asked. Say looking at Pinterest. Yes, I am a world class Pinteraster. Ooh, I want to learn that. <laughs> What is your favorite story that we did together? Hmm. Oh, me getting lost in Phoenix on the bus and oh calling you. Well, I Tell knew I was... No, 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 no. Okay, so I lived in Phoenix for a little while after I graduated university and we never grew up with public transportation or anything and I didn't have a car at the time and had to ride the bus. I did not think about you have to get on the other side of the road to get on the bus to go back home. And I went like an hour or something in the wrong direction when I meant to go home after work and it was like nine at night. So I called Gordy here who lived in Phoenix as well and I was like, I need help. I messed up the bus stuff and I'm by the giant blue dildo because there's a Frank Lloyd Wright spire that looks like a giant icicle or in other terms, a uh, giant blue dildo. And then I had to drive her an hour to her house. She was in like an hour and 15 minutes. Direction. Yeah, yeah, and then an hour home. And she called me at like 10 p.m. It was way past my bedtime. What's the best piece of advice that I've ever given you? I used to tell my sister, don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And she's like, Cord, but you are were a drug addict. I go, I know, but I would never sleep with any boys. <laughs> All right, yeah. food arrived. You're off the hot seat. Next time I get questions ahead of time. <laughs> 
of my favorite books is The 10 Laws by Dan Millman, where one of the laws is he's throwing rocks at a tree. So we got a snowball and we got a tree. Let's see if I can hit that tree right there. I might have been practicing. The branch screwed it up. I'll give it one more shot. Missed. Too far to the right. So Dan would say you got to correct. Too far to the left. All right, let's see if I can get it on the third try. Ah, fourth try, fifth try. I'm gonna give up. And before we started filming, I got it on the second try. Hands might be frozen. I lost count. Wrong tree. Got it, yes. finally. So, my hands are frozen, but we had some fun. Quit sinking. <laughs> the Italian in snow. That's hard enough. Huh? Why? Because I keep sinking. Why are you out of breath? <laughs> she said a walk wasn't going to be a workout. I'm so tired. We're only going up there and came back. I think we're done for the day. We need to save our energy for the hot tub. Starting these bad boys. Sometimes you gotta dig a hole. <laughs> yeah! What happened? Oh, you know, I had too much fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do we do that now? <laughs> Fun run here at Snowbird. Just ski down one of those steep pitches. Got that rock pretty good. I knew there was a rock there, but he couldn't see it. Old man can still turn aboard. In quite his patrol days, but I'm impressed. I definitely just got my pass pulled on accident. I skied a line this morning and ski the same line this afternoon but just learned it was close because avalanches so they pulled my pass no more skiing for today and maybe no more skiing at all we will see it might be march still in utah but they still have christmas trees so it's been an amazing week here at La Cabino. Thanks so much to John Rampton for sharing his beautiful space. Thanks to my sister Kelsey who came in for the week, my dad and Elena. I don't think I've slept this much in months, so it was really good to recharge, um, do some skiing, do some snowmobiles, plan, create our content schedule, shoot our course um, that we're working on for connection agreements, AKA NFTs. So it's been a really productive week. Super grateful for John Rampton and the Selfless Givers. Shout out to all you guys and gals. Um, but really just one of my big takeaways from the week is have friends that have cool stuff. Like uh, the General was awesome. The snow wheels were awesome. This cabin's been incredible. Thanks to all our new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, like, share, please do all the fun stuff. Uh, we do this for you guys and really looking forward to hitting a million subscribers by the end of the year.